Did you know that according to published scientific research in the journal Obesity, that people who are over 40 years old and focus solely on hormone optimization get up to 65% better results than those who focus on starving themselves and keeping their body in a calorie deficit. So if you're over 40 years old and you're looking to get the fastest results possible for the New Year's in 2019, pay close attention because I'm gonna show you how people over 40 can reoptimize the thyroid gland. And this is critically important for people in their 40s, 50s, or 60s, especially if you want to try the keto, the paleo, or the plant-based vegan and vegetarian diets. You see, they come with several deficiencies that do not cater to the current hormonal condition of people over 40. Inside this video, I'm going to teach you how to overcome these deficiencies. I'm also going to introduce you to a one-day hormone resetting protocol that you can learn about by clicking the link around this video. It's specifically designed to help people over 40 re-optimize the hormones that regulate your body weight and boost your metabolism. Now, my name is Sean Hatzel. You can go ahead and call me the blessed papa because I have six beautiful grandkids. I'm a 47-year-old stubborn fat expert and I've been in the health and fitness industry over 20 years. When you go over to my website, there's a couple things I want you to take note of before I cover this information. The first thing is you're going to see over two dozen published scientific research studies. So you know everything I teach you in this video is backed by published research. You're also going to read a very inspiring story about my 58-year-old wife, Karen, who used this one-day protocol to completely reinvent herself after a cancer journey forced her into premature menopause. But don't click or tap that link yet. I want to go ahead and share this information so you can overcome these pitfalls and you can still reap all the amazing benefits of the keto, the paleo, or the plant-based vegan and vegetarian diets. Now, if you stick with me to the end, I have a special gift that I want to offer for keto lovers out there. So first of all, what exactly is the function of the thyroid? Well, the thyroid does several things. First thing it does is it controls basal metabolic rate. In other words, it controls the speed of the metabolism. It helps regulate body weight. It improves digestion, helps with muscle growth and muscle control, helps with brain health, bone density, and it helps regulate other hormones that you can learn all about over at my website. So you can see it's a very important gland and hormone that your body needs to produce, especially if you're over 40 years old. Now, what happens when you have a low functioning thyroid? The first thing is abdominal obesity, weight loss plateaus, brain fog, dry skin, hair loss, depression, and fatigue. So these are just a few of the symptoms that can take place if the thyroid gland is not optimized properly. Fortunately, there is a specific problem on why all this happens and there's also a solution that I'm going to share with you. The first problem is low iodine. This is especially a big problem with the paleo diet and the keto diet. Because since 1971 to the year 2000, research shows that iodine levels in the American's diet have plummeted up to 50%. So simply by adding some sea vegetables like seaweed and kelp, uh, cod and scallops are rich in iodine and raw dairy. Remember, iodine is necessary to produce thyroid hormones. So is selenium. So by adding some Brazil nuts, I would only eat like three or four a day because they are loaded with selenium. You can actually get an overdose of selenium. So great, great, great choice is Brazil nut. Raw sunflower seeds and mushrooms. So simply by adding some of these foods into your diet and following my one-day hormone resetting protocol over at my website, you can help start getting this stuff back in line again. The second problem is lack of complete protein. Now, this is the big problem with the plant-based diet, the vegan and vegetarian diet. In fact, research shows that the protein quality on this diet is so low that the liver won't respond to the thyroid. So if you're not able to eat animal meats and raw dairy because you're going vegan or vegetarian, my recommendation is that you get a high quality, complete plant protein powder that you can use in conjunction with your diet. This will help uh, fill in that missing gap and help you overcome these deficiencies. The second problem is lack of glucose. This is especially important with keto and paleo because we, they are low in carbs. Keto especially, only 5% carbs. Well, this is all fine and dandy. It's great for weight management, right? It's great for long-term health and longevity. It's great to fight diseases. However, what ends up happening is when you don't have glucose, your body can't produce thyroid hormones because glucose is the primary building block of TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone. So fortunately, there's an easy way to overcome this and that is just at the right time every single week, there's a specific time that you have strategic high-carb cheat meals. And research shows this extra glucose will help reset 
your T4 to T3 conversion so that you can increase your thyroid hormones. You just have to use my one day hormone resetting protocol so that you know that you're doing it at the right time every week. This is crucial. Now the final problem is age-related hormonal decline. So how do we overcome this age-related hormonal decline? Well, I created something called the Over 40 Hormone Reset Solution. And over at my website, you'll learn all about it. And it will help you re-optimize growth hormone. In fact, research shows that when you follow my meal timing techniques over at my website, you can actually increase growth hormone all the way up to 1200%. You'll also help reset leptin levels, cortisol, which is known as a hormone for stress, melatonin, which induces deep sleep, ghrelin, which helps eliminate hunger and cravings, and insulin, which is known as a storage hormone. So I'm going to teach you how to combine your foods the right way to keep insulin stable so that you can stay in an environment where the body can more easily metabolize fat cells. Now you'll learn all about it by clicking the link over uh, or under uh, around this video. <coughs> you'll also see the over 40 keto cheat sheets. Now this is important because keto is hot, hot, hot. It's the number one search diet on Google and the internet. So if you want to attempt it, you need to have this prevention guide in place if you're over 40 years old. This is gonna teach you how to do keto the right way. So thanks for watching this. Have an amazing day and God bless.